fact, I'm probably the only person who was seven years old who said they were going to be an oncologist when they grow up. Um, when I was young, my father had lymphoma, and he's doing fantastic. He lives here in Naples today. But, um, you know, I was so grateful for the doctors that helped him that, as I said, at age seven, I said, I'm going to be an oncologist, and I stuck with it throughout. It's been sort of like a guiding a guiding force, I guess, throughout my life when things were up or down. I always knew that that's what I wanted to do. And here I am. If we can just control cancer and prevent it from growing and spreading to vital organs, you can live with cancer in your body your whole life. So I'll use this, this metaphor, I'll liken it to diabetes or high blood pressure. That as long as you go to the doctor, you take your medicine, you do what you're supposed to do, in many cases, you can be okay. Obviously, it's more serious than diabetes or high blood pressure, but people can live with cancer as long as it doesn't continue to grow and worsen. And we're doing that for so many people nowadays. Dr. Kostloff did a CAT scan, told me stage four, I had less than a year to live. It was everywhere. So she told me, I can hit you with a lot of drugs. If we can get six months out of each drug, you're good to go. And. Uh, that's what I've been doing. And that was three years ago? Three years ago. I feel great. I have a lot of energy. Uh, the doctor's just right on. If any side effects, she takes care of them right away. And as soon as she feels the medicine's not working, she hits me with another one. And I'm just lucky. I'm very fortunate to have found this place. My wife always comes with me to treatment and doctor's appointments. And then when my daughter can and my son can, they come. And Dr. Kofsloff explains everything. And uh, she don't pull any punches. Trust me. She gave me so much hope. I would do anything for her. I mean, uh, I should have been dead six, you know, two and a half years ago. So she's given me life and hope. And uh, she continues to. It's the patience. It's definitely the patience and knowing um, that you're really helping people and you're helping them to live longer, live better. It's a wonderful thing to be able to say that you do every day. And when you work so hard, you want to enjoy what you're doing and know that what you do is going to a better good, not just to put you know, food on the plate for your family. And to be able to help people and, and, and do that every day is really a pleasure.